Hi there and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today I'm recreating the famous Tic Tac Crunchy Pasta Chips with herbed whipped feta cheese dip. I don't have an air fryer like the Tic Tac videos, so I will show you how to make them in the oven. I'm sure I'm not the only person on earth that doesn't own an air fryer, and in the oven they come out just as good. Just listen to the crunch. Let's start. Bring a pot of water to boil, salt the water, and cook your favorite pasta until almost ready, al dente. You don't want to overcook your pasta for this one. I'm using this gluten-free fusilli pasta, but you could use any pasta you have on hand. Once the pasta is fully done, drain it well, we don't want any water in it, and transfer it to a bowl. Now we'll add to it some olive oil, some sea salt, a sprinkle of fresh black pepper, a little bit of thyme, or if you have, use some Italian seasoning, and a teaspoon of smoked paprika for added color and flavor. Mix it all up and transfer it to a lined baking sheet. Spread the pasta evenly on the baking sheet and try not to crowd the pasta. This is optional, but you could also give it a sprinkle of grated cheese for extra crispness and flavor. Bake it for 20 to 25 minutes at 400 degrees until pasta is golden and crunchy. While pasta is baking, let's throw together this awesome whipped feta cheese dip with fresh herbs. You would want to save this recipe for later. It is fantastic with fresh veggies as it is with chips. In the food processor, we're going to combine one cup of feta, two heaping tablespoons of sour cream or Greek yogurt, juice, about half a lemon, and one clove of garlic. Now process it in a food processor until it's all combined. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth paste, but just enough for all the ingredients to be fully incorporated. Now let's add some fresh herbs. I really like using for this parsley and dill, and I have them growing in my garden this year. I'm aiming here for about a tablespoon of each herb. Chop up your herbs as small as you can and add them to your dip. So after 25 minutes of baking, as you can see, the pasta on the edges is fully ready it's crispy and it's golden, but the pasta in the middle is still a little soggy. So I'm going to put it back into the oven for about four to five minutes, just for it to crispen up. Now my pasta is perfectly crispy and I'm ready to enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this recipe.